no, don't fire up the old penis flatner. <laughs> John, come on in. Before we start, I know you were a Buddhist monk, but what you have with your soulmate is unique. You have a spiritual connection that transcends the physical realm. This person's gonna be your best bud. <laughs> Jianyu, let me introduce you to your soulmate, Luang. He is also a Buddhist monk from the Lumbini zone of Nepal. Wow, Jesus, that is that is perfect, Michael. That is, I couldn't have thought of that. That is genius. Like I, I would have th thought he would have put him with someone who was basically Jason, but Jason couldn't act like that because he's, well, Jianyu. You and Luang share an identical soul, like binary stars orbiting one another in a perfect reflective harmony. You won't ever have a single moment of loneliness because you'll always be right next to each other for eternity. Okay, I'm gonna let you two get acquainted. I'm sure you have a lot to not talk about. <laughs> because, well, you get it. You get it. Oh, this episode alone has solidified the fact that Michael is my favourite character. Oh, I'm getting a headache. This is gold. Oh, my God. Can I offer you two something to drink? Janet! Hi there. This is Janet. Now, she can get you literally anything you want. All you have to do is ask. Of course, you two won't ever want anything because you're perfectly content. Oh, I know. How about something special? Janet... Two yaks milks, please. Oh. Enjoy. This is torture. Are you all right? Yes, fine. Never better. Top of my game, actually. You have to excuse me because I've got to go, so. Oh, look. Got some shrimp in one of my many, many cargo pants pockets. <laughs> what the <laughs> fork is happening? Wow, it's not going to plan, is it, Michael? Michael, may I please speak with you privately? Sure, sure. It just feels like I used to be real Eleanor, and now I'm Denise. Denise is a good part with a, a great backstory. You run the best pizza place in the neighborhood. You have a cat, and that's cool. I took this job because it seemed fun and different. Oh my good lord, yes. She's went from real Eleanor to Denise with a cat. That's that's acting right there. Great art coming for Denise the pizza lady in about 80 years or so. <sighs> Chidi is going to accidentally kill your cat. It's going to give you a great chance to shine. Can I just have something that makes me stand out? A mysterious past or a limp? I want a limp. This is supposed to be the good place. Why would you... Okay, I, no, I hear you. I tell you what, go nuts. Limp your heart out. So seriously, that's why she's limping. Just because. Are you all right? Yes, fine. Never better. You have to excuse me, because I've got to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. What the fork, man? I know that book. Is that some kind of nerd pickup line? Because it's only kind of working. No, the, the, the note you showed me before. All right, this is from a book called What We Owe to Each Other. I used to teach it. I was a professor of ethics and moral philosophy. All right, brag much. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Come on. She belongs here. Ding dong. Okay, <laughs> we can still salvage this. Where's Eleanor? She's gone. I can't find her anywhere. Maybe she left with Chidi. He's gone too. What? Or maybe she left with Jason. You lost Jason? How's that even possible? Your only job is to stand next to that idiot. I got distracted <laughs> by the fire. Oh my God. So even after all this, Eleanor and Chidi are finding their way to each other. That's so lovely. It's definitely going to end with them two being together. Why would you say that in the middle of a party? You told me to. No, 
I didn't. You said if Eleanor tries to confess that she doesn't belong here, find a reason to avoid her. Like saying, I'm going to the gym. So that's what I've been saying. That was a suggestion of the type of thing you could say. <laughs> Don't... How many times have you specifically told her you were going to the gym? Five. No, nine. You damn it. Hey, man. Settle down, right? He takes his top off when he says it. We're all winning there. I'm sorry. I'm trying to process a tremendous amount of insane information. I mean, you're not supposed to be here, but you and I clearly met here somehow before now. I mean, does that mean that I'm not supposed to be here? I don't know, dude. Were you a good person on Earth? I, I think so. I spent my life in pursuit of fundamental truths about the universe. <gasps> oh, no. I used almond milk in my coffee, even though I knew about the negative environmental impact. No, you absolute monster. My real name is Jason, and I don't know what's going on. I got here, and Michael said, I'm a monk. And he told me I was going to have a new best friend, and that we were going to live in a yogurt. A yurt. Oh, yeah. Yurt. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because you were nice to me. You're my friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so it's Jazznet. Hashtag Jazznet. I love it. They're all finding themselves back together and I love it. Well, it's getting late. Chidi, uh, allow me to escort you back to your house. Oh. Uh, hello, all. Sorry for the late hour, Eleanor. I wanted to stop by and give you back your sash. That's okay. You can just keep it. No, I don't deserve it. I made a complete fool of myself tonight. I interrupted your big speech, badly stained my cargo pants, which I have to admit are quite comfortable. So Jason's going to end up there as well. There, I think, because obviously it is the bad place, that, but they're still going to find themselves together because they're, they're intertwined somehow. There'll be some big twist, like three seasons down the line or something that'll blow me mind again. <laughs> Luong, perfect. Um, why don't you take uh, Jianyu back to your yurt right away? Homie, no. I'm not spending another second with this loser. You said he was gonna be my best friend, but he is not. My best friend from Jacksonville was named Pillboy and he was dope. We, we oh, Michael, you've overplayed your hand with this one. Clearly, he's talking on the first day. Janet. Her name is Janet. Oh, right. Janet. Hi there. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Figured it out on the first day. You went too hard. I was loving it. I loved every single part of the tour trial, but you've maybe little and often, not constant. Maybe it's none of our business, but did you tell Sean what happened? Yes, I did. And he completely understood. As a matter of fact, he found the whole thing kind of funny. But he was very supportive. And he says he's very excited for us to get going again. So, anyone else? Yeah, I don't think he told Kevin, did he? I know he's called Sean, but w whatever. Oh, sounds like everything's going well back there, too. We're trying out the new butthole spiders. Huh? They're enormous. You know, good old-fashioned <laughs> torture, the way it's supposed to be. Good luck with attempt number two. And remember, there will be no attempt number three. So he's really got to nail attempt number three and also butthole spiders. My good lord. Eleanor, come on in. So, on the first day, they figured it out that it was the bad place. Well, Eleanor did. So obviously what they're doing is too much. So maybe in the third attempt, he's just going to put it exactly how it was but don't push them as much maybe i am very excited to get on to the next episode i love this show so much that twist though my good lord jesus i mean because michael kept saying it was his first time i was like oh well I, it, it's fine i'm excusing it because you know first time but no it was his first time but it at a new kind of bad place but yes a good first episode back for season two um i am excited to get into the next one if you're new of course drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you all again very soon for more the good place reaction videos